and then an air raid siren called Weeping Willie by the men who tend it began its uneven scream. Down in the coast, the white puff balls of anti-aircraft fire began to appear against the steel blue sky. Life in Europe during the late 1930s to early 1940s was fiercely dictated or affected in drastic measures by the ideals and cruel acts of the National Socialist Party of Germany. Better known as the Allies term for them, the Nazis. Responsible at the time for the barbaric deaths of millions and the destruction of many of our cities, families and hope of living free. Fueled by their lust for power and ambition of conquering land for their so-called master race, the wicked regime led by Adolf Hitler and his willing as well as brainwashed followers brought about the Second World War. One nation, however, stood firm against this unrelented attack, this being the United Kingdom. Thanks to the virtue of us being geographically disconnected to the rest of Europe, the war never truly hit our lands. However, we weren't safe entirely as on the 7th of September 1940, the Nazis, along with their remarkably engineered Luftwaffe, flew to our skies and bombed the cities of our nation for the first of what would become an eight-month and five-day consecutive siege, later known as the Blitz. The Blitz is a commonly known topic of history especially among those from the United Kingdom. Often we hear of the damage of cities such as London, Liverpool, Birmingham and Manchester, among others. However, little is ever spoken about the city in which I am from, Kingston-upon-Hull. This becomes even more surprising to me as Hull was actually the worst affected in terms of percentage of houses destroyed and damaged within the city, with as many as 95% being reported statistic. In this short documentary, I will attempt to inform my viewers several reasons in which this may be the case, as well as demonstrating the scale of which the damage was. One of the key reasonings I believe the city's destruction went merely unnoticed is because of the lack of publication towards it. News broadcasters on radio at the time of the Blitz referred to Hull simply as the North East Town to avoid giving the Germans any tactical advantage due to the importance the port had in helping ration the country. Here I am going to read a short paragraph I found interesting which I have found on the Hull Blitz Wikipedia page. The short paragraph states, The bombing of Hull was kept secret in the press for the first couple of years of the war for two reasons, because Hull was a port and could be reached easily by boat from Germany. It was important that the enemy didn't know how much damage they were doing. It was also important to keep the morale of the British citizens up. Low morale would mean the war effort suffered. Here on focus on the screen are several images of damage taken by bombing within Hull compared to how they look today as I stand and film them a Hull 80 years later.
I take great inspiration when thinking of the effort and camaraderie of a city that held strong and rebuilt from the ground upwards again. I believe it's important for our community to remind ourselves that life, although very challenging and difficult at times, that we have been through worse and fought like hell to get through. On a final note, it's definitely worth mentioning my motives behind creating this short film. As this piece of history hits me on a personal level too, as I remember as a child being so intrigued by the history, especially with the stories my grandma would tell me of how she remembers life in Hull during the war, and also the rebuilding process in the 1950s to 80s. I hope you all enjoyed and learnt something from my project. Thank you for your time and interest.